Breaking news out of Hong Kong International Airport where a 747-400 has veered off runway 7 left and crashed into the bay. Here are the pictures that we are seeing as they come in. It is being reported that two people on the ground unfortunately were killed, and that's obviously very sad, although the four crew members on board have been rescued and are alive. My name is Gary B. I've been an airline pilot for 18 years. So we're going to go into some of these details. And then I, at the end here, I'm going to tell you some possible reasons that could cause something like this to happen. As I look at the weather, I don't see anything that would contribute to something like this happening. It doesn't make a lot of sense. The wind looks good. Uh, the surface and the runway conditions were reported to be safe and normal for operations. Uh, you know, nothing like ice or snow or sleet, anything like that. So I really don't think the weather played a factor in here. And I'm going to tell you my opinion of what possibly could uh, play a factor if the weather isn't a contributing factor. Okay, going over some of the quick details. This happened October 20th. So that's technically today. It's tomorrow for them. It's at 3.50 a.m. local. So the aircraft was a Boeing 747-400. It was a freighter. It used to be a passenger plane, it was converted into freight. And I'm going to tell you how that could be a factor here in a moment. So the operator was ACT Airlines and it was operating under a wet lease for Emirates. A little bit of fact about uh, ACT, I, from what I've seen, and I have to double check this, but they've had quite a few whole losses they've had to write off. I don't know if this could be an indication of training, of bad maintenance, of a lot of other factors. I don't know. I'm not accusing. I'm just, from what I've read, that they've had an extreme amount of whole losses. That's like total in your car. You're basically saying, basically what it's saying is there's a disproportionate amount of aircraft damage to this airline. So the airline was coming from Dubai and all the way to Hong Kong. And here's the other thing. It was apparently empty. It had no cargo. This could play a factor. I mean, I don't think so, but maybe it's a very small chance. Okay, so everything's under investigation. And before I give you kind of my take and just a general overview. So before we jump into this, we're going to watch uh, this visual from Voss Aviation. If you don't know Voss Aviation, you got to check them out. I, Captain Steve and I interviewed Victor a while back. They put out some great content. Let's take a watch here so we can visualize and then I can kind of give you a brief of like, what are some possibilities that could cause this? Um, right. 9788 Here's the landing. Here it comes down. Now you got to remember, these are data points. They're going to register between points. So it's not always going to show you the exact track. It's going to just, it's, it's like pointing between two points. And you're like, okay, at this point you were here, at this point you were here, so it's just going to do its best guess to draw. But in the reality is, 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 as they pick these points apart, this plane could have completely been on the center line and then veered left very quickly, which I almost would suspect is more probable than what we're watching here. But let's continue on. So it looks about just past... Still in the touchdown zone, as you can see here, these markings right here. So these big white bars here are the thousand foot markings. And by it looks like it's already veered off, uh, off the runway and onto the grass or the dirt, whatever that is. Now it has, I should say, it has been from the reports I'm reading, somebody thought, what happens if it hit that vehicle and the vehicle was on the runway, you know, took out the left landing gear and it started veering off. That would make sense. From everything I'm reading, it's saying that's not what happened, that the air, that the car was off the runway and then the plane veered off first and struck the vehicle off the runway. And so that's what we have to go with for now unless we hear something or see something else. So again, as you, you watch here and it makes this whole turn, my only critique to Victor, and again, I love Victor and I think they, they do a great job, but I wouldn't use the term, you know, he's from Spain. So I, I really wouldn't use the term ditching that says they're like ditching into the water. That's not exactly, in my opinion, the correct term of what they should be using. It's this aircraft veered off and just basically overran uh, off the runway and went into the water. I wouldn't really consider that ditching, but that's, you know, a small issue. So. As you can see here, the aircraft looks like it made a full uh, turn, like a 180. Now, how much of that was when it got in the water and then eventually it spun around because of the current or the waves or the tide or who knows? I, I don't know that if it spun all the way there. Uh, I'm really hoping at some point that we get a video and we can kind of see 
uh, what exactly happened. Side note, listen to ATC right here. Watch this professionalism from ATC. Like I, this is exactly the kind of people you want working. They stay calm. They just had an accident and watch how they go. We still have lives in the air. We still got to continue this. Just, just listen to a little bit. So I'm not going to play the whole thing, but just listen to a little. Have a two nine and uh, descend to flight level one three zero and uh, enter the holding hold for Canto. Descend flight level one three zero, holding it enter hold at Canto Cat eight nine. Nina, we just have uh, we just had an accident uh, at uh, runway zero seven left and no landing is accepted at this moment. How long uh, can you hold? Flight level eight nine. We expect delay undetermined. I think uh, uh, we won't be open up within 20 minutes at this moment. Yeah, and that's just a little bit of a side note, but I got to say, like, look how professional that is and how ATC is doing. I think that's a, a, a crazy good job. Now, let's get into what could possibly cause this. Now, again, this is gets to be such a, a, a outrageous statement when you say you're going to speculate or I'm not speculating. It's like saying a fire happened. What could possibly be some of the causes? You're not saying that the person burned down the house. You're just saying what could cause, what's most likely to cause a fire. Ask a fireman what is most likely to cause a fire, and he'll tell you, oh, these are some possibilities. So when they get there to investigate, we kind of already have an idea. So again, I am not speculating. I'm just saying these are some possibilities that could cause this to happen. First thing that I that comes to mind for me is some type of gear collapse or failure. Now, again, without seeing the video and seeing, was it a slow drift off the runway? It's really hard to know. But let's say, um, you know, when I was an instructor and I taught people on the CRJ, one of the required demonstrations was you would collapse one of the main gears, right? So you think of it like a tricycle. You have the front nose gear and then you have the two mains in the back. You would collapse and as soon as you collapse on that thing in the sim, you'd go boom, and the thing would collapse, and instantly you'd veer off the runway. You could not control it. So th that comes to my mind that for a 33, 32-year-old aircraft, that the, the gear, it, it literally could have just as you know an old plane, it just it could happen. Maybe the gear collapsed, and it and that's what because if the left side gear collapsed, that could that would definitely turn the plane right and throw you right off the runway. Because think about it. We were trying to go right and the odds of everything going normal and they just completely veered off in the water the odds that they just messed it up for no reason i would say that's uh that's pretty slim now what about the other thing that comes to mind what if the the brake locked on the left side let's say the brake all of a sudden misfired or locked somehow who knows i'm not saying i'd have to ask some of the mechanic friends if that's actually possible but let's say the other thing is maybe the brake locked up and went left and they couldn't control it and it went off. Uh, the other thing too is the tiller. Most, a lot of people don't know about there's a tiller in a plane. That's your, basically your nose wheel steering that allows you to steer this plane. Uh, most airplanes have two. Some like the CRJ have one. I'm not sure about the 747, but I've always thought, what happens if you're landing and let's say your arm bumped or something fell? Like let's say a lot of times when you land, you hit the brakes and stuff slides like slides forward i mean you, you guys have been in planes right you hit the brakes everybody kind of braces and the stuff rolls forward that happens in the cockpit too i've had like a suitcase fall over what if something up there and again this is a wild out there theory but you have to start with the theory there what if something up there fell forward and hit the nose while steering the tiller and turned it off and they like before you could get it under control again wild theory probably not i put it at like less than one percent but again i'm just throwing things uh, out there that could happen. So those are just some of the ideas that come to mind. I guess we'll find out more if we A, see a video, and then obviously when the final investigation comes out. But those are kind of some of the things that just come to mind that could be uh, possible that could cause this. Let me know what you think. Was the ATC professional? Anything I missed? I appreciate the feedback as always. Please like and subscribe. That stuff really helps the channel. And until next time, stay safe.